Ah, that's delicious. Okay, folks, first of all, let's open up our good friend GIMP. So to do this, step one, we're going to make a new canvas. Okay, so we'll go to File, then New. Okay, just go with the default uh, settings. Okay, so you can get my default settings set to 640 by 400. Really doesn't matter in this case. So you're going to do, you got your blank canvas here. I'm using the path tool today. Okay, to use the path tool, you first got to select it. To do that, you're going to go ahead here, and that's the path tool. It's to the left of your eyedropper and to the right of your foreground select tool. So it's just this fellow here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to make a path for our text to go along. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this start one, just click once then click twice to like make the end of your path. Then what you do is you can pick any sort of like part along this path to like curve it. Okay, so I'm gonna curve mine here. And then I'm gonna curve it down here. So just like that. Okay, I can do whatever I want, but I'm just gonna, mine's, my path tool is, my path is gonna look like that. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is, okay, we are going to, uh, we are going to put our text in uh, to our picture now. Now this path is going to disappear. Okay, it's not actually going away. It's actually just being hidden. So well, let's go to our text tool. All right, make sure your size. Put it to something like anything above 20. Okay, so I don't know. I put 28. You know, don't go too high though. So 28. Let's say about. 32. That sounds nice. Uh, you can adjust your font as well. Okay, so you can put it to. I'm a fan of Garamond. I've always been, always will. Garamond bold. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to say, I'm going to put Father Flem is the best. Not best. How about, how about Father Flem is awesome. Okay, so put something not too long. Okay, but something that you know, a little long. Again, and just make sure it's school appropriate. Okay, so you're going to click on the close button then. And then here's what you're going to do. Okay, now this is it's going to freak you out a little bit. Okay, so toolbox. What we're going to do is remember how we added the layers menu, or the layers sort of tool tab, if it wasn't there for you. We're going to now add the paths, the path or paths. Uh, tool uh, sort of uh, box or tab here. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go to our friend here. Okay, see on a toolbox. If yours is not there, okay, just double click on any tool. So, and it will, this will come up. Okay, so go here and go to add tab. Okay, remember before we added layers, this time we're going to add paths. Okay, so then we got this path. Now that's that path we had drawn earlier. So let's first of all let's let's reveal it. Okay, you can see it there. That's our path tool again. So what we're going to do now is go back to our text and go to our tool options. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it to uh, text along path. Now watch this. Check this out. Bam, that just happened. What happens is it takes your text and it puts it along the path that you had set. Okay? So that's how we get that sort of curving thing like that. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to delete the layer that contained the text. So let's go ahead to our layers menu. And then what we do, okay, is we delete the text, okay, that layer there. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, again, to our path, again, not to our layers menu this time, but our paths menu, okay, our paths menu. And what's going to happen is, you see now we have another path. We have the text, okay, that's along the path. What we're going to do is make sure that's selected, okay. Make sure, I, right now you can see that's my text, Father Flem is awesome. 
What we're going to do then is we're going to click this button here. It's, going to, it's called Path to Selection. Okay, so watch this. Let's click there. Now you can see the ants are going around, are going around our text. So that's good stuff. What we're going to do, okay, is we can actually get rid of all of our paths and all that other stuff. This is just like, remember, if you remember with the colorful text project, we had it where we did the alpha to selection. Same deal here. So I'm going to delete the paths. I'm also going to uh, make sure I've only got one layer. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, just like we did with our sort of text layer, with our colorful text lesson, I go ahead here. Let's add a new layer. Let's call it. Um, let's call it again. Let's go a little old school. Let's go to text. Just call it. Just call it layer name text. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, and you can make this any way you want it. I'm going to select a gradient. Okay. Double click on it. I'm going to. I, I like. The, I. You know what? I'll admit it. I like the rainbow colors. We're going to go with the rainbow colors. They're awesome. Okay. And then what we do is, you know, again. So now I've got a. Actually, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to start over here and do that. It's a little hard. There we go. That's kind of nice. It's a little bit too much green up front, but that's okay. So we got our rainbow text now. That's pretty sweet. Again, make it a little cool, you know? Move it up a little bit. I'm going to go to my filters, and I'm going to go to blur, set it to Gaussian blur, and I'm going to set it then to, we'll say, 10 and 10, okay? And then we'll click on OK. And that sort of blurred our stuff. Or actually, before we did that, we needed to do a select none. That's why that didn't come out well. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur, 10 and 10. That's too much. So let's do a 5 and 5. 5 and 5. And then our last step is going to be, let's add a black background so we get a nice contrast. So let's go here to our layers, go to background. And what we do is we go to our paint bucket tool, color that in black. That's how you do it. Good luck.